fellas welcome back to nasmas we got another hot one and it's not so much because of the weather man it's because we got left hand drive and a right hand drive you guys probably seen pictures of these cars these are some of the hottest cars out there and um, i'm proud and glad to take the opportunity to give you guys a little rundown a little review on it and uh without any further ado fellas got frankie over here frankie yes sir ah uh, man you've been in the game for a minute man i've seen pickup trucks <laughs> rx2s yeah. all kinds of right but this one I gotta say, this is one of my favorite ones, man. You went all out on this. So uh, if you could uh, just please tell us a little bit about it. 72 Mazda RX-2, bought it from Washington with my buddy Caesar, which you'll see in a minute. But we went all the way driving, had a merry good old time going up there and we got both of the cars, brought them down. It was a package deal. And um, I decided to um, sell all my toys to fix this up. I said, this is the one. That I want to fix nice. I'm sure you guys probably noticed paint color. That's what cut my eyes. I don't know if he wants to reveal it. Y'all know, like a lot of guys don't want to reveal what paint, what car, but he could let us know. Well, you, you cool with that? Yeah, or? yeah, no problem, no problem. All right. it's, it's a brand new color from Mazda. They called it the Soul, Soul Crystal Red. Uh, you might see them on the new Miatas, the new CX-5, CX, CX-30s, and um, all those other cars. And I've always wanted to paint a candy apple paint job it's not necessarily candy apple but it's pretty close enough i wanted to go with an original mazda color and since the car was originally red i said it's not too far off the base um i gotta get a shout out to um to my boy beast he's the one that painted him. he lives out in um, la puente he paints a lot of uh, cars for rotaries and uh he does cars for sema so he he did a pretty good job on this car. So, so you knew what he was getting himself into, right? <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty, it was a pretty penny. So yeah. it shows. It, it definitely shows, especially on that sun. When you were coming down, it was just popping, man. Everybody has a uh, epsilons and same gold, black, maybe a different color here and there. But I saw this color. It's called um, prismatic universe. The sun hits it or light hits it, it changes color. Yeah, it, it, it's just prismatic because it has that prism effect to it, yes. right? Like, it's uh, different uh, colors that are on the chart. All the colors of the rainbow inside. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what size are these? I'm guessing 15. These are 15, 15 by 7.5 to the front, 15 by 9s in the back. Now, as far as suspension goes, did you do anything uh, radical or I just... I put VC coilovers. They just made them about a year ago. So, I ordered a... Oh, okay. I ordered a set from BC. Okay and um took about a good month to get here because they have to custom make them oh you got the old school bumper too with the dip right here yeah came original with that bumper nice um, oh that's how you got the car yeah okay you said it's a 72 right 72. oh so it's got to be an early 72. yeah it is an early 72. I, I noticed it did you get these chrome mount yeah i got the everything on this car that can be chromed i chromed it all the stainless steel i polished it myself hey wow. so frank i almost missed out on this you you went ahead and uh, polished up that uh review mirror yeah it was kind of um <laughs> scratched up so i said you know what, what's under here it's aluminum all right Let me oh it's it aluminum it. oh, yeah, I, I like how you painted the bolts on here too oh that's how miles originally did it yes i was I, debating I on that i didn't want to do that at first but i said you know what I just I'll just let them go with it. So yeah, we, yeah. It. I mean, you know, everybody to its own, but I, I just prefer these painted. It's still like that nice, like bronze color. But it, everybody on its own. What I like about these LA cars, that everybody's got their own thing going. That interior, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's another thing. Like I said, I wanted to come off really hard on this car and All right. be a little bit different. And I've seen black interior, I've seen white interior, I've seen brown interior, and which of those are the three colors that came stock from mazda to the u.s but yeah. not to japan japan they also came with a couple other colors with orange and um red first i told the guy look all the patterns yeah it was all all my design it's oh, okay. close to the original as possible oh so you're like me you're trying to keep it uh, og <laughs> yeah i, I know nice. these aren't these aren't um these are coupe seats yeah, yeah. but i use the sedan um centers sedan centers okay um i believe i believe the real early 70 wants to come with those too don't they i'm not sure i can't uh, remember i, I think i think they do maybe you guys can let us know in the comment but i'm almost certain they do but i i could be wrong it's just i mean you just you know i'm focused on on other stuff but uh i remember back in the day i could have sworn maybe uh 
the, the really early RX2s came with those. But either way, without you knowing, you just added your own touch to it, right? I have to do a little bit of my touch to it. it nice. Just, it just makes it more mine. Man, it's just, you know, with, with this cutter that you got going and the chrome on here, it just really makes it pop, man. Yeah, and the guy said, hey, I can't do the original chroming on the on the oh, door panel yeah, so yeah. what he did he he had two color options was a gold and a silver for it's called piping and he put it on there and i didn't like the way it looked so i told him to double stitch pleat it you can barely see the pleating right here yeah and yeah. the stitch on the inside you can't it's only one on the in, on the outside but there's two of them on the inside yeah one to hold it and one to hold the pleat so i see you got you got the original steering wheel too original steering wheel and i had and to the make the too. i make the horns work uh. <laughs> so if anybody can let me know why they made two different horns originally i have no idea let me know i used to throw those steering wheels away i i've been in the mazda game for almost 25 years plus you used to throw them away <laughs> i used to throw them away i used to put grant steering wheels oh on. yeah the grant the grant yeah, yeah. And, um, kick myself in the butt every time oh yeah about they, that. They, they got them pricey even the cracked ones have gotten pretty pricey but. yeah i like the fact that you went uh all original man you hop in this car and it's just you get that old school feel to it when you see that dash yeah every, every everything i tried to keep it as original possible at the, but at the same time very functional yep oh you got the armrest in the back too oh yeah sweet it's, it's, it works everything yeah. works yeah sweet i put the red carpet and i told him to do the oh okay yeah the, where you rest your foot up against the yeah the sidekick yeah, uh yeah and okay underneath the underneath the the this one yeah floor mat oh okay all right all right so so okay you kept it original down to the carpet yeah nice oh you got that that's old school too that's that vintage yeah saver. pink yeah. saver for the keys yeah, you need those one when you're carrying a bunch of keys like this. You're trying to open the door. <laughs> you won't scratch it up, right? Yeah. All right, Frankie. So uh, this is the moment everybody's been waiting for. What, what you got over here? I got a um, old school 85 GSLSC 13B uh, street port. GSLSC, nice. So I have a Turbo 2 tranny that has been um, shortened for RX2. Okay. I have uh, an exhaust from uh, Renee's Motorsports, stainless steel headers, down to a three inch, all the way to the back to a two and a half inch Magnaflow muffler. Wow, it's nicely done too, man, yeah, those it's, headers. It's, it's, it's done it's, really, really nice. Yeah. Wow. Uh, racing bead intake, um, port, match ported and polished, 48 IDA Weber, tuned um, MSD coils. Um, okay. I actually ported this motor myself. You did? I poured the motor myself, the intake housings. You street ported the engine? I street ported the Whoa, engine and okay. I street ported the, the housings as well. I wanted to get a feel for it to see if I can do it. Yeah, yeah. And um, I took it to uh, Turbo Dave. Okay. And he put the motor together. He cleaned up the yeah, parts yeah. and just. Uh, well, I was that was my next question. So uh, your builder was uh, Turbo Dave? My builder was Turbo Dave. Okay, nice. I give yeah. a shout out. Yeah. I got a clutch from Action Clutch Stage 2. Ah, nice. Which rips pretty good. I got a wheel wood, master cylinder, and I a custom made um adapter plate for it to fit on. Um, so, I had to do my own brake lines. Man, all so the you, way were, down. you were hands on this I, car, I huh? I did a lot to this car myself. So, so you're one of those built, not paid kind of. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, well, there go the horns. They work. Yeah, they both work, of them. fellas. <laughs> both of them. Some, I have some plans for it in the future. Don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but. Um, it's, gonna, it's it's top secret it's top secret for now because <laughs> yeah. it's gonna cost me a pretty penny to do so so i'm i'm contemplating whether to put this money into this car or into my c10 truck which is another build that i'm working on oh okay that's well what's that man that's like a chevy or something yeah it's a 67 chevy short bed oh okay yeah um, yeah put your money in this car man no well nicely done uh frank uh you outdid yourself with this car bro uh, i really like the, the style very unique uh, definitely stands out uh, paint wheels old school gotta go with the epsilons man i mean what can i say that's like an la thing can't go wrong with them uh, obviously hands on the engine ported it yourself had triple dip and renee and all the other guys work on it so it's got definitely an la touch to it oh, yeah. but with, with, with your uh, magic on there right a little <laughs> but, bit of seasoning so can you show us uh, how, how much you like the RX2s? Oh yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, that's a two RX2 fan right there, fellas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, hey, thanks, Frankie. Appreciate you uh, showing us your thanks, car thanks for, for, for the review. Me. And, uh, you know, maybe down the line, you could show us that top secret you got going for it, you know? We'll see. <laughs> All right. That's good, is that good? Yeah, the ice cream man's over here. <laughs> That's funny, dude. All right, fellas, so we got uh, another RX2 right here. And uh, this RX2, it's... Hello. Oh, damn. <laughs> My bad, it's just... This car is so rare, fellas. You don't see these cars out here at all. Uh, it's a Capella RX2. You know what? Never mind. I'm gonna stop talking. We gotta let Caesar right here. Caesar. Hey. So this is your ride. Tell us about your ride. Man, I almost butchered it. One <laughs> Mazda Capella. Okay. Also known as the RX2 in the U.S. market. This right. model is like the only one that I know of in the U.S. I heard there's another one. No one's seen it. There's some stories out there that there's another one, but I haven't seen it come out. So right hand drive. Obviously, right hand drive. Yeah. So I mean, when I see these cars, the shape, I'm thinking RX2. But like you said, look, fellas, it's a Capella. So, uh, how long have you had this car? Uh, went on about two years now. Two years? Two years. Okay. We bought them as a package deal. Me and Frankie. Um, oh, all right. Crazy. We went up to uh, Washington about a, three years ago to go pick up uh, two rotary trucks. And uh, when we got up to Washington, uh, the gentleman owned a Mazda repair shop. And uh, he was telling us that he was one of the first Mazda mechanics that flew into Japan to get trained to work on rotaries. Wow. And uh, when we picked up the rotary trucks, he was telling me, hey, you guys want to see something cool? Took us to his house, showed us this, and I was like, man, so I need he didn't want to sell it for a while, and uh, I told him, if you ever sell it, please give me a chance. Let me buy it. He called us about a eight, nine months later. Hey, you guys want these two cars? Come get them. I'm like, oh, man, how much time do I have? He's like, you got to come get them quick. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't want to waste no time because I know people were going to jump on it if I didn't. Is this how you picked it up? I mean, obviously, you probably added some stuff to it, but, I mean, that's the same color. Same and color. I mean, basically, body-wise, all I've done is change the hood. I have yeah. the original hood. Um, yeah. I, I tried to do a little buff when I got it. It's already a little bit dry. Yeah. Well, I I really like the fact that it's a '71, and the way you could tell us by the little antenna on the back, man. How I do you just... tell it's a '71, Nathan? The antenna goes around the hood and have little openings right here. The where the lights go on the front, it it goes down and up, and then the lights inside. They're on the side. On the pillars? Yeah. Oh, so you mean to tell me they don't go in the center? No. 71, 30. 71 go where? On the side. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's just like the R100. Yeah. What else? Oh, and it's got two of them, too. Yeah. See, fellas, uh, we learn every day, man. I'm learning from... Nathan. Nathan. Nathan, how old are you? 11. 11. Wow, Nathan. Yeah, you're young and you know your rotary stuff already. <laughs> You got you got a RX22 or something? I mean, you, you know so much. An RX3 wagon. You got an RX3 wagon? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you gotta start all young. So I'm gonna get back at you on that wagon so we could do a review on it. All right. <laughs> so Caesar, are you are you gonna stick to the original orange, or original are we getting orange. too ahead of ourselves? I'm or stick to the original orange. I might add a little bit into it. Maybe okay. Smart or something, but do do your own little twist to it. Yeah, but I want an original orange. It's just like that old school, like almost like mustard kind of orange. I love that color, man. It just stands out. But I want to do my carpet. I got to do dash. My headliner's super clean. Headliner's yeah. all original. I mean, the door cards too. I mean, you can still see some of the plastic from that door card up on top. Oh wow! So I mean, did, did this guy have a garage or outside? He had a garage. Or... I mean, the story was um, somebody in the service bought it in the early seventies and uh, I asked him like, how'd you get it? And, uh, he had told me that, uh, somebody from the service brought it over, got off the porch and, uh, the car didn't want to start. And he went, he got dispatched to go get the car started for the person from the service. And, uh, he told the guy from the service, where are you taking it? Oh, I'm driving to Texas. This is from, uh, Kent, Washington. And, uh, he told him, man, this car's going to give you problems all the way up. Why don't you just leave it here and I'll buy you some plane tickets. 
So the guy from the service ended up leaving the car with him, signed it over, and uh, the mechanic bought him plane tickets just to go back to Texas. Oh, man. Kept the car. The wheels, man. You, you got the Epsilons, Epsilons too, huh? Yeah, 15s. I got them off of uh, Tony. Yeah, I this one This one has like a little curvature to yeah, it, huh? Wow, i never seen these right here. Yeah, yeah those are uh, they're Epsilons, but, but a different style, huh? Different year, maybe, Concave, huh? Concave, the way they go in. Concave, okay. Nice. Oh. I was gonna ask you about that, the carbon fiber hood. It's like, is it the top layer or is it like, is it like everything? Full carbon. Full carbon, wow. Yeah, that's full carbon. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, man. Mirrors, it came with the mirrors too, it huh? It came with these and I have Sweet. the original black cone, the hard to get black cone one. Oh, okay. I got, th I got a pair of those too. Okay. But I mean, this car, it's it's did it come with this it, from it, japan it, or is it different no it came with the original black hole ones from japan oh and okay he put these on these are actually from mazda but probably for like a different year or something i think it was like a it was like an add-on right like a dealer add-on type of thing oh okay it was like a dealer add-on type of thing oh nice okay okay so i'm not used to seeing this everything's on this <laughs> side <laughs> Now, are, would you say any of these parts may be interchangeable with the U.S. or? Uh, no, they're interchangeable, right? Everything. I gotta get it. Uh, I think Pack Performance has it. Oh, well, you're lucky. You could just yeah. get it from everything oh, yeah. from Australia, huh? Yeah, I mean, you gotta Break pay for it, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Over yeah. There, but yeah. So it's with the shipping, huh? Yeah. Man. 48 Weber. 48 Weber. Yeah, it was a pain to get these headers in, man. Look how much space we have between the headers and the steering. Oh steer. yeah, cause of the the hard. steering box. That's right. So custom, custom headers, obviously, right? 13B Bridgeport done by uh, Turbo Dave. Oh, this about, was done by Turbo Dave as well? 1,500 miles on it. Wow. Four okay. speed? Four speed. RX4 repo? Uh, I think it's a repo, right? Repo. Oh, okay. Which is pretty much the same as an RX4, yeah. right? The same thing. Now, does your horn work as well or? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it works. So for ignition, you got the MSD uh, coils. Man, the grill, it's just like, it's really throwing Different. me off, man. Yeah. Everybody's used to the circle headlight. Yeah, yeah. For so, some reason, I was kind of skeptical. I was yeah. just like, it, it, did he go? Because I seen some guys go with this, with this route, like with the front end. Yeah, just the, the front. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but this is all true to this true. car. Everything original. Nice. Look at that. I have a brand new set of headlights at home. Now I'm being a bit nosy, but uh, uh, this is this uh, pop metal too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, so it's not just plastic. So in the U.S., they got us on with just the paint. <laughs> this is actual yeah. pop metal. There's actually more metal that goes on that grill. Really? Yes. Little lines that go across. A lot of pieces that go on. It's like seven. No way, yeah. man. These guys from Japan are. Yeah, they went not a lot with their car. Oh, the side markers did change, right? Right. Now, now right here, these um, these are going to be really hard to find if I you don't have them, huh? I have everything. Oh, you have them. I have every, he, gained, he preserved the car. Yeah, these are like, they have the antelopes, so right? I, I got the original, I got the original motor. He took off. The, oh, the twin dizzy? He took off the, uh, the speedometer, the cluster. Okay. He took it off. The, it's in kilometers. So he took it off to preserve like the mileage with, oh. the, with the motor. So I have both original put away at home. So, so is this, this is the US market. This is the US one? Because it's in miles, right? It's yeah. not in kilometers. And he wanted like, to preserve the mileage on it. Nice. Yeah. This, oh, yeah. It still has to that that color, that uh, bronze yeah. color. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is a true gem, man. Yeah. You just don't see these. Nope. Wow. So uh, I have the original license plates at home. I sent these to get done with the original numbers, all the codes. So oh. basically, it's identical to the original plates. And I so have also the Japanese, plates. Japanese Japanese plates. Oh wow. Plates. I have the original original ones at home, but these are basically a duplicate of them. Same number, same letter, everything's the same. Wow. And they're they're, they're the same color, white, same color, green. green. Oh, floor mat too. Floor mat. Wow. Wait a minute, is that the original jack for yeah. this car? Yep. Oh, it's just like the R100, dude. I mean, it changes a little bit, but it's, it's the, it's the uh, stand up right great. jack. Yeah. Wow. See, I didn't know that. And it straps like the R100 yeah. is supposed to strap like that too. Oh, then. Yeah. And like, for being with the cars, especially for the location, I just learned was, that. I learned a lot today. It doesn't have too much rust. I mean, yeah. it has rust here. Wow, it's got the R100 bit. sticker too. What? Uh, I, I know that people's first reaction is like, oh, I'll get that fixed. But I mean, I for some reason, I just like the way it sits. Yeah. It, it's just, it's, a, it's it's like a time capsule in a sense, you know? That's it for where it came from. Right, you know, right, yeah. Washington, everything's rusted over there. I don't know how yeah. many cars we got over there. And I get here and we end up cu cutting them up because they're not even, they're past saving, you know? 
it yeah it, it kind of it kind of it kind of makes me cringe that you, you might in the future you know paint it yeah the, are you having the same mixed emotions where like should i should i not or i, I definitely want to you you definitely want to get it painted okay gotcha all right i want to get some good body work i mean i think i have driver's side door i think i have another door oh yeah that'll be that'll be smart just get, get get yeah, the whole door you got the door at a good price you know get mm -hmm. the door at a good price versus paint all that body work um like right that, i still have an extra door i'll take this door off yeah okay all right fellas well uh hey uh thanks caesar thanks for showing us your ride this thing uh i'm sure it turns a lot of heads and uh you guys ride together a lot too so oh, i'm sure when, when you guys pull up everybody's just looking right yeah, and if anybody sees this and uh other parts man it's not for sale oh I'm yeah sorry, not, not for sale it's not for sale all right caesar thanks for uh, showing us your car we appreciate it and uh we'll stay tuned with that uh rx3 wagon all right, we're out, fellas. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button for notifications. And uh, y'all know what to do. All right, we follow. out. Yeah, follow. <laughs>